number one. But prove, please prove me wrong, Cyber X Day. Without further ado, Land of Dawn. Land of Dawn, game number one between Todak and as well as Cyber X Day. Yep, look at that. This whole feels as the fighter for Todak. It's going to mm -hmm. be more interesting. Because this is the first time that I've, I've seen in the uh, professional scene. Okay. And. It will be great if we can, you know, make some uh, uh, play make, uh, play make as a playmaker for Todak here. Oh uh, yeah, we, we we have seen Aegis popped up early, Ooh. but Moon gets chunked off at a quarter of health right now, and so these two mid laners are just going ham in the first minute, guys. Yep, and look at that, his Formis. Oh, he's having a good time as well with Yonder at the at the top lane. Meanwhile. Three members from Cyber X they just don't want to stop, you know, keep giving up pressure in the mid lane just now. And I can we can see here for Maze getting uh, really really pressuring Yandere because he is quite low there. And we can see both teams, both junglers just chilling, taking their buffs as of right now. Yep. And look at that. They just you know, uh Cyber X they they are keep pre giving up pressure in the early stage. They want to make sure that Todak needs to know that we are strong, okay? Mm -hmm. We are a strong team that coming from Vietnam and they, they, they cannot underestimate us. Yeah. Get yeah. all the, the, the room they're coming from three members in the mid lane, all those uh TNTK and also Riley. Look yeah. at that, it's gonna be the first block wow. for Cyber X in the first uh, one minute. In the first yeah, in the first the first minute, but Moi gets uh, targeted Ooh, right now. Two bone. members, Rafael and Selena could not manage to take down, but it, he has to recall, so I guess this gives space, more space to all this, but oh my god, Chiku, ready for the surprise attack, will he get taken down here at Mio? Yeah. Where are you going? Chiku is already targeting you down right now, Momo tries so hard, keep giving a lot of pressure, but the Tempest of Blade comes as well from Chiku, Tonight we're gonna be the, uh, the first target that will be shot down by Todak here, my meanwhile, TNTK is gonna be the next one, yeah, still need one more, but Momo is still made oh. to survive. Yeah, oh no, so it's gonna be another target, it's gonna be another uh, trade as well coming from Cyber X. They shut it down Momo. They shut it down Momo, one for two in the earlier trade, but then again, Aldous, the jungler for Cyber X, gets taken down. Now you see Lunox popping that immune, popping that order on Chaos, but yeah, again, as it stands, Sodak is controlling, but the turtle has been slain. Uh, the first turtle has been slain by the side of Aldous, by the side of Cyber X Day. Well, so I could say Cyber X Day, our uh, Vietnam team looks pretty well, looks pretty solid yeah. in the early. I mean, they, they didn't give an, an, a passive, maybe a passive uh, gameplay here, but they are really proving to us that they are so strong wow. with the 1-3-1 one, one formation here. Meanwhile, look at that Moe is still able to survive. My God. Oh, but it's gonna be, you know, Abby Salt Trap that actually connected from TNTK. It's gonna be another threat coming from both of the teams in the mid lane. It doesn't matter. Chiku gets the kill. 301 and the stat is Ling is happy right now and we can see all this trying to find basic compensation for what they lost and we can see Benedetta trying to go aggressive at this Aldous and Angela is just roaming ready for that ult but hasn't uh, committed and to it. Fast, yes from Formis, ooh he's still trying to take or maybe giving up poke damage and they come as well with oh this ooh, is really a good time replay no they're coming from me from Moy but there's no follow up like Albert mentioned before from Todak but it's gonna be ooh look at that it's gonna be 100% point for Nya from Cyber X Day. The first kill has been finally popped by Aldous, but right now both teams is at an even standpoint here. Look mm -hmm. at the gold, look at the basically kill, but oh my god, happened. Action bottom side, Momo gets saved, but Riley, can he take down Momo? But Chiku is there to back up with that. Angela, Momo survives, but right now Chiku is in a bit strong, uh, a tough spot, but of course he is laying. I'm sure he will manage to escape here, guys. Yes, the chase fate is coming from Nya. And, you know, extra vision as well for Cyber mm -hmm. X because, you know, he can get uh, uh, he can get a lot of vision yeah. for all of the teammates here. Cyber X they probably uh, will make a good game as well for yeah. uh, for our first game because they look pretty strong even though you break this game into the late game. So that maybe exactly. they, have, uh, they have this Momo, they have Formis as well. 
Yeah, I think Todak has to get creative right in here right now because late game is favoring Aldous as we can see four members already. Yeah, but the information already come from the chase they're coming from Nya here. But look at that. Todak, they don't oh. want to stop. The circle is already being stained by, uh, by Chiku here. But the problem is they just want to force the team fight here. The Zephian sword from Chiku trying to stop Nya. Nya is going to be the first one and the first target will be shut down by Todak. But two members from Todak also got punished so oh, bad. Momo, Momo is slow, he cannot survive. That was a one for three for the side of a cyber exit. And I think they are happy at this right now. And Chiku trying to find compensation, taking down the top tier turret here, Monica. Yeah, it's really a good trade coming yep. from uh, Todak. But the problem is, every time Todak trying to, you know, make a good initiation or make, uh, trying to pick a team fight with cyber exit, they kind of lose. The skirmish, they kind of lose yeah. the team fight here, and it's not really a good KDA as well for Soda. But the problem is, you know, Cyber Exa they have a lot of CC. They have this, they have the stun they're coming from uh, Abyssal Arrow and Abyssal Trap. They have uh, the movement uh, speed as well, they're coming from Riley here. Yan there as well, as well with the Chaos Assault giving a burst damage. So I think it's pretty hard for Todak to have a team fight here, but the problem is they don't want to stop, they just want to continue. The flying blood come as well from Janat here, right, and Moi so. gonna be the first target to be punished by Cyber Exit. TNTK, Cyber Exit, they just don't want to stop. Even yeah. though they are waiting for Todak to give a, a, an initiation, but they are ready to, ju to just contest it. They are perfectly, and we can see Moon getting targeted, but Chiku is ready to back his teammate up. And we can see Nyo just collecting stacks, and Tempest of Blade hasn't been popped, just he just wants to clear minions and even Cyber Exit so does not want to commit team fight. So it's just, so it's Nyo or Nya? Yeah. I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, if you, um, We are very sorry, guys. You are very sorry if yeah, you can mispronounce. Mm-hmm, the, the, the name as well, but look at that Chiku uh -oh. looking really uh, strong as well with the link, with the Zephyr so Tempest of Blade towards his Nya. And it's pretty hard for him because he needs stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. This all those he cannot uh, get, get punished a lot in the early because he needs a lot of stuff as well to make the burst damage from all those work really well in the late game. But the problem is, three times being picked off, it's not really a good KDA for Nya. Maybe Cyber X say they have to find another strategy here. How to stop Todak? Because Todak already got one turret here. Ooh, for me, still managed to defend the last hit on at the bottom turret. Exactly, but oh my god, more action here. Cyber X say and Todak will not back up. And But right now, Arashi, can you read the situation, por favor? I mean, it's very even so far, and they just was going like constantly skirmishing. I find it interesting that like the Aldous jungle, we've seen it used a couple of times throughout the day, mm -hmm. but there's always been like a lot more passive in the early game. Here it seems like yeah, it's very happy to just join fights early on in the in the in in this game. So that part is a bit interesting for me. You want to hear my take on that? Mm -hmm. I think because they have another insurance for that late game, they have Alice. So I think Aldous, yeah, okay, he gets picked off once twice or even thrice but i think there's alice that just wants to sustain and that, that their job is right now their main focus is just to make sure that they enter the late game guys mm -hmm. they want to drag this game 100 percent into the late game because they are pretty confident with uh Jannard, with his alice here mm -hmm. and maybe even young there okay this yeah. will not will be a game changer as well but yeah with, with the chest the fate come from Chiku, he need to use the Tempest of Blade to run away and the Fins oh. one. Oh, that Abyssal Arrow, if he didn't hit to into gold. the gold box, <laughs> I think Chiku still able to, you know, got hit by that Abyssal Arrow from yeah. TNTK. But look at what it, at what cost Sodak managed to take down tier 1 turret. Oh, we can see 2 versus 1, 2 versus 2 comes. with that hard guard exactly and Tempest of Blade yeah. hasn't been popped. Oh, it has. But oh my god, the, Ooh, the damage is just too huge, but Chiku managed to take down uh, no, Lo Yo has to go down, down as well. A 2 for 1 now, rather, but both junglers right now is down. Yep, but look at that. At the bottom lane, Jannard is making a lot of space as well for Cyber X and making some distraction for Todak to at least make maybe pay attention a little bit towards the minimap here. And suddenly we have a pause. Oh my god. And still find a way to make it work, but with their own way. I think it's yep. very fascinating. And exactly. it shows that, again, this, this we get why the, the bigger regions are 
has, has more attention. But exactly. like, it doesn't mean that if you're in a WhatsApp region that you are not relevant. That's true. Yeah, there's some chance as well for other countries here. But let's jump back into the game right now. Now, Todak, they are keep giving a pressure into the top lane here with three yep. members already stand by there. And, you know, look at that. They don't give a chance as well. Chiku comes again with the... Uh, Defiant Sword, but look at that, there's still uh, an Abyssal Arrow as well coming from TNTK, just stop the movement coming from Todak. Mm-hmm, yeah, I have to agree, but... Meanwhile, for me? For me, and Nard having added bottom lane here, but for me, of course, is too agile on that Benedetta, no commitments, but oh my god, top side here, Momo, Riley, TNTK, Moon, Moy and Nyo is there, three versus three, Ooh. but of course, CyberX, he manages to, uh, to just clear the minions. Yeah. But they have to be careful, Todak. Okay, they have to stop this Jannard at the top of bottom lane because this guy, he doesn't want to stop. He just keeps doing whatever he that he wants to. Exactly, exactly. Uh, doing a split push is really a good, uh, maybe buying time as well for Cyber XJ, but Jannard just come with the flying blood, with the blood out here. Mm -hmm. And no one can stop him, but at least Todak will try to waiting for the Chiku using the Tempest of Blade towards the Jannard and forcing him to use the Winter Truncheon. Yeah. So he, he doesn't have any item as well. Uh, for, for to survive here. Oh, but, but meanwhile, Yander is going to be the next target here, Albert. Exactly, and we can see Nyo targeting Moi, and he has to go down. Nyo still wants more. Chiku is the next that? target. Stunned, and oh my god, at, with a less than a quarter of health, he has to retreat. But oh my for god, Boy Maze will take down. Oh, with Nyo. the Pandem as, uh, Pandem as well. Exactly, but yeah, this is a total, total disaster for Cyber XA. They need to reset as of right now, but. Then again, uh, Todak have their losses as well. Yeah, they have to trade it at, at least. Makes a Moy that is not kind of useless and it's not kind of waste. Because Cyber XA, they have to be careful with this uh, for Mace, I could say. Yeah. It's one of the best assassins in, in Malaysia, I could say. Yeah, but if we take a peek at the player gold right here, top three is the top two players are from uh, uh, Todak, so I guess they are. In control right now, they have more space. They are, they they have Ooh, more control. Oh, but, but look at that! The puppy puppy boom comes from Moon. He just needs to run away. <laughs> so the choice that they're coming from Nya here, going into the uh, inside the body of Chico oh, and almost. four mates. Look at that! Three member from Todak. They are just straight away to take another objective for Todak. Yeah. And Todak recognizing that the enemy, the Cyber X is actually stacking a lot of mm -hmm. uh, magic damage. Yeah. A lot of members on their team are actually buying Oracle's second item. Yeah, they have to. If not, I, I think they will die with the, the burst damage that coming from the magical power from Cyber X. But the Lord is already being secured by Todak here, and the Winter Trunchon is already being used by Jinnar. Oh. Jinnar doesn't have soon. a lot of uh, resource kill to run away, but look at the Chico. Oh, oh he got stunned with the episode arrow that connected from TNTK. Meanwhile, they have to run away, Todak. Now, they are need to save Formis at the bottom lane because look at that puppy puppy will come. The hot cut comes from the Angela. Formis still managed to run away. Oh, look at the joke, but oh, run oh, oh my god, I'll Coming played. into the bottom lane with Formis and other members that coming from Todak here. Yeah, oh my god, I'll just got out played here and Lord charging bottom innovator, but we can see Yander is trying to just clear the mid mini minions. Meanwhile, TNTK and three other members from Cyber X State trying to take them out down this Lord. What a play there from the Hormes, this, yeah. Hormes, this Benedetta managed to escape, jukes out and even kill uh, the jungler guys. Take taking down jungler. Yeah, but we but can see Moy. Moy. Siren Ray, Siren Ray fans comes out from this Kufra, but the problem is Yander is going to follow up, going to try to back up his, uh, his team and rally here. Meanwhile, TNTK is going to be the first target to be shot down by, by Todak here. Yander needs to run away. He still have the Brilliant of Order. Oh. He need to use it just to survive from the, the, the attack they're coming from Todak here. But Momo played too far by himself. And I don't think... Oh, look at that. Look Angela at coming in for, coming. Yes. with that hard card forces Cyber XA to retreat almost, but we can see Chiku targeting Yo here. Yo getting too aggressive, too alone there, too isolated, and oh my god, again, he has to go down now. Two innovators from not, Cyber XA is down, guys. Another side of defense, another side of coming from Kufra. Did not need to run away. He still have the flowing blood, but the problem is 
gonna be another follow they coming from cyber exit they are still managed to defend their base momo where are you going oh. they won't run away they cannot run away from it meanwhile kiku is going to take another objective for todak in the mid lane and evading jungles right now is the main focus from chiku but items please rashi i think i want to highlight that angela has a fleeting time and it's just it shows that their strat actually is for for the angela to actually go with the hard guard into it goes with the hard guard into one of the carries yeah. and then with that extra shield make an aggressive play get a pick rinse and repeat yeah he even have the ice queen one for the slow effect though exactly this angela is super duper annoying super duper annoying indeed trying to just miscalculation it <laughs> Make a uh, cyber XA miscalculate things, you know. And another th another point is that the Aldus actually isn't building full tank. All everything we've seen the Aldus get being oh, placed yeah. is just a full tank Aldus relying on stacks mm -hmm. for damage. But yeah. here we see he has a blade of heptasis. Mm -hmm. So again, a very interesting take on the Aldus strat, and I, I think it's very interesting for me to see in this uh, game, especially coming from a wildcard region like Vienna. Yeah, oh, interesting. True. Interesting you need, but as of right now we can see on opening, Momo, Momo is in a tough, tough spot. He gets stuck. <gasps> he gets taken down for sure. Will they take more? We can see Jiku getting to the front line. Tempest of Blade just to escape. But oh my god, the follow up is oh, there. Kufra is Coming there. Coming the final blow as well. And to the back line, but now it's going to be the first target to be taken down by Sodiac wow. here. But Young there still managed to survive. Jiku with the, sm uh, the super minion comes oh, no. in and the top lane and also the bottom lane. But it's not going to be enough Too for Jiku just to shut down or even though take down the base of Cyber Exit. Four members from Sodak has to go down, is at a respawn time, but we can see there's nothing much that CyberX they can do. They need to clear minions. They, their pressure is still on them, and even Lord isn't up. So then again, they, he, they need to just buy some time, guys. I, I think mean, mm -hmm. it's going to be a nightmare if CyberX, they, you know, they keep playing around and they keep dragging this game into the late team. It's dangerous for Todak, no? Yeah, that's there true. Was a, there was a big play by Yandere actually nuking out two of the core members and Chiku and Formace in that fight actually getting them super low and their team was just able to capitalize and pull the fight back from the brink. This Aldous is gonna be, you know, so much confident right now. He's using the cheese fed, just trying to, you know, keep breaking all of this defensive that uh, Toda has. He actually, he actually stole the blue one, I think. Uh, the purple one. Yeah, he stole it. Oh. Well, he used the chase fed, just need to, you know, I just want to do whatever I want. Penetrate. Just drag this game into the late game, I will be super strong. Yeah, this is a dangerous spot because Alice is given a chance to take the purple buff from the junglers of Cyber Exit. But we can see Formage ready Ooh. for the surprise attack or no, just give information for his teammates. Now, both teams playing it passively. I like this because Lord is up, guys. But, oh my god, was I wrong? Denard is the next target for Chiku. One for one. I mean, one for zero. Chiku. Managed to solo kill Gnar there, bottom lane, wow! Yeah, but he need the purple buff, okay? Or he will just run out of a lot of energy for this lane. So that now they are looking for the Lord, for the next Lord, just helping them to keep pushing into the uh, base of Cyber Exit. Yeah. The, the cheese fight is already being used by Nya, and Cyber Exit, they just realized they cannot contest this Lord. Yeah, being one man down, and that was Alice who is down, so... There is nothing CyberX can do. Being so exposed, only one inhibitor left. This is the question. Will CyberX survive this Arashi? It seems like they might... I mean, once this Lord actually presses up to the upper side, I think the first thing Todak will do is group up in the mid lane and actually take away the tower mm -hmm. just to ensure, you know, the, the, the objective play, mm -hmm. right? And then once that happens, then if... if I think if it's... Oh, oh yeah, but it's gonna be a good follow they coming from Kiko with the defense shot, the Tempest of Blade. They just need to shut down this new in the first place. If they shut it down, shut him down, they can just go for another team fight here. Lord is already matching down at the top lane here. Yander is looking for the, you know, brilliant offer that being used by this Lunok just to clear the minion as soon as possible. But the problem is, look at the Immobile comes as well. Jinnar is trying so hard to defend the base, but Lord is going! to take down the base of CyberXA and Todak will take this